my site, chrislemma.com, is currently using a WordPress theme called Make by Theme Foundry. It's one of my favorites, and it's really powerful, and it does a lot for you. And of course, if you add the Pro uh, plugin, you get even more done for you. And it's, it's incredibly powerful, but when I was configuring chrislemma.com, when I was getting it to look right, at least on the desktop, because there's still a lot of work to do on mobile, but when I was getting it to work right, I had to write a lot of custom CSS. There were little things I wanted to do, and so I kept writing another line here and another line there. I want to show you something. I want to show you a different way to do this without writing any CSS. I'm taking a look at a sample. This is just, this is the make uh, theme, and this is a Hello World post, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here, and, uh, and when I do that, I'm going to be able to come over to any part of this uh, side, like this image, for example, and I can make a change to the header image, right? And I can come over here, and I can take a look at the size, for example, and I can change the height. Now, mind you, I'm manipulating this, right? Um, without writing any CSS. I'm just moving something with a slider, right? I can also do something like go take a look at some other part of it. For example, the uh, the, the main section here, and, and I can just click on it right here. This is the post entry title. It's the main title here, and I can come into the title. I can take a look at that text, and again, if I want, I can make it bigger. Mind you, I'm not writing CSS. I'm, I'm definitely changing something. Uh, but I'm not writing any CSS when I do this. And you can see I have a lot of options, right? I can, I can center align this title if I wanted to. Um, and I can, I can get a little crazy, right? I can start changing how, how the spacing is on the words. Uh, I can start, if it's two lines, right? If I wanted a, a double line there, I could change the line height. But I'm doing all of this without writing CSS. And that's, that's kind of interesting. Uh, it gets more interesting because, like I said, when I was doing the work, right, and particularly around um, mobile, I, you know, I'm just not great at writing all the responsive CSS. Um, I, I'd have to keep going back to tweaking, and there was still a lot of work I didn't get to finish doing. But you can click on this little button right here, right, and you can change. I'm going to make a hit cancel so I can change this. I'm going to change to the mobile side, and now you'll notice that I'm right here, the same post, but I'm in this mobile editor. And I can do the exact same thing I was doing. For example, I can come over here and take a look at my title area. And this title area, I can turn around and say, you know what, what I'd like to do is I'd like to work on the text. Because my title here is a little too long. Let's shrink this title down so it fits on, on one whole uh, line. This menu item, which is great, right? But you get into the menu and you're like, I want that menu to be a little bigger, right? I want it, I want the, um, I want the size of it and I want the margin padding to disappear a bit because I want it to be um, as big as possible so that my big finger can get to it. And so you notice I'm adjusting again. I'm doing this right here. Uh, one of the issues I had was my titles were too big, right? And so I can go to my post title again um, and come into the text and I can change the text to make it not as big, right? If, if that's what I wanted to do. Now, I can keep going, right? There's there's so much more I could get down. For example, here's this whole section on, you know, what kinds of uh, what kinds of, of content that I can show you. And so I can, I can come in here to the uh, allowed tags and uh, come into the extras. And somewhere in here in my display, I can change display to none. And look, I just got rid of it, right? Um, and that's awesome. I can do the same thing for this guy come in and take a look at that and uh, get over to the extras and display go to none and make it disappear right I can take the footer area for example right and let's say I wanted to change the the background color on this thing right come over here and take a look at a different color and for whatever color I want right that makes sense mm, that one doesn't make so much sense but there we go right I can change the color and I'm doing that all without writing CSS. I can, of course, save this. This comes as a WordPress plugin that I can edit the look and feel of uh, several different themes, including Make, all by using this product that's called CSS Hero. And I just wanted to introduce that to you today.